So here is my rod wrapper slash dryer. I uh, made it out of one inch oak for the base plate. Uh, just dadoed some grooves in it to put this T-track in. I ordered off of uh, eBay. Got them to fit in there nice and tight. Um, down here we just have a standard sewing machine motor. Got that off eBay. Drying motor. Got that off of uh, either Mud Hole or Jan's Netcraft. I can't remember which one. Um, took some scrap steel, made brackets for the sewing machine motor so I can put tension on it or release the tension depending on whether I'm wrapping or drying. The same thing with the drying motor. Uh, wired it all into this box here. You can see it says dry or wrap. So you can put it on a wrap, take the tension off the drying motor, and there's just a foot pedal. So it's variable speed. You can go slow, or you can speed it up. When you get done wrapping, you can take the tension off wrapping belt, put the tension on the drying belt, and switch it over to dry. It's a nice slow speed. Let your epoxy dry on your wraps. Um, thread carriage just made out of quarter inch acrylic sheet. Um, this is fully adjustable. You can move it left or right. And all I did was mount some uh, quarter inch bolts in the bottom. Run it all the way up through. As you can see here there's some nylon washers. Put that on the top and bottom of the thread with a spring and then a quarter 20 uh, nylock wing nut. Now you got to get the nylock otherwise when the thread spins it'll loosen or tighten the tension on the actual thread. Uh, the chuck I already had. I just had to adapt it to fit this. Uh, the pulleys, those are actually 3 8 acrylic. Um, I just cut those out of a circle on my bandsaw and used my drill press as a vertical lathe and uh, cut them to make sure they were perfectly round and cut the groove in them for the belts. Uh, down here for the uprights, I used, uh, this is what they call UHMW, which is Ultra high molecular weight polyethylene came in, uh, I think, is an inch and a quarter uh, round stock. I just cut it down and again used my drill press as a vertical lathe to cut the uh, pattern on there and make it thinner to ride on the rod. These are just standard quarter brackets uh, from the hardware store with springs. Uh, again, quarter inch acrylic. Um, fairly straightforward. Looks very similar to the ones you can buy online. I just made mine. Uh, this is actually a little bit longer than four foot. It's four foot from here to the end. Um, and that's another four foot section. And as you can see, these dowel pins right here, I can uh, line up with these holes down here in the end of this one and slide it together and I have an eight foot section. And also these uprights, if I take it off here, I can have stand alone and these are fully adjustable. I can loosen this knob and lift it up or down, forward or backwards and then re-tighten it. Um, so I can do longer rods. I can go out to eight foot with the whole base or if I want to do big surf rods or longer fly rods, I have that option. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, most of this is uh, oak or white oak. I can't remember which. Everything, uh, all the hardware, most of the screws, bolts, uh, nylock nuts, springs, nylon washers uh, is available at most hardware stores. I think most of mine I got at either Ace Hardware 
or at uh, Park Rose Hardware. Uh, I did put an outlet on the end of this box so I can hook a lamp up if I choose, if it's low light. But it, so far it looks like it'll work. I haven't wrapped a rod yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know.